Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where I was just looking at my armor. I should take some of the heavy armor, but I like the medium armor. Look better! Even that one, like it's not great. These helmets though have more armor apparently than, than some of the armor, other armor I've looked at. Oh, I don't really get to see my armor, I guess, so we'll put her in the beefier armor. It does have... My block skill goes up and my stealth skill goes down, but it's not a big deal. What is my... Oh, yeah. Okay. And I might switch... I do like that this has a medical bonus. And that is the thing I just got. Let's try that. For the medical bonus. Ah, yes. My poor stealth skills. Anyway. <laughs> we don't need those. We're beefy. Uh, oh, do I, have a, do I have a skill point available? I wasn't even looking. Okay. Um, come on. We put points into there. We're getting closer. And I should do... There, I think we unlock some stuff now. Mm-hmm. Tinkering cost. Ooh, interesting for a chance to extract a basic mod. Always put some into dialogue. I'll put two in, and then... I'll do some leadership. Because I'm getting close to that as well. So. That's where I'm at. I do, I think, write my... Um, I was pretty sure my science weapon... Yeah, my science skill overall increases the damage of plasma and shock weapons. Okay. Just the special effects for science weapons. Yeah, because I would like to use science weapons and melee weapons. I like the long range ones too, but we're gonna, we're gonna stick with this, I think. So. Apply. Yes. Lovely. Okay. And I think I've talked to everyone. It's back here. Bathroom. There you are. I knew I forgot somebody. Hey, Captain. I got a thing I want to ask you. It's kind of big. Oh, yeah? <laughs> kind of big. Oh, man. Uh, what do you need? I was thinking about what you said before. After we went to the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I reckon you're right. I think I'm ready to stop fretting and fussing and and ask Junle to go steady straight out. Oh boy. And I'm thinking of doing it here on the ship. What? I'm bringing her home to meet the family, huh? <laughs> Bold move. Oh gosh, do you think so? I just figured it's you know, a good thing. There's nowhere she can go on Groundbreaker where folks don't know her. Here she can relax. Good for you. Any way I can help? I was kind of hoping you'd offer. The thing is, I can't ask her over like, like this. I mean, look at me. I'm all covered in engine grease, and I ain't showered in nigh on a week. That's that's your problem. Well, I sweat most days, and well, don't look too close at my fingernails. I was thinking, hoping, we could stop by Groundbreaker for gas supplies. Dang. That's that's a bold question in some sometimes, you know, where it's like, can we stop and get some shower stuff? Although we don't have shower facilities on board. I mean, I took a quick look in that bathroom and I didn't see any, but. Uh, also, I think she would like her covered in engine grease just as well as clean with the bath. But it is nice. It, it's a it's an extra little boost to the to the self confidence. Uh, what are you thinking? Well, that nice older lady in the rest and go, Miss Gladys. Oh! <laughs> seemed to know lots of things. Maybe she knows where to find fancy sex. I do have to go talk to her. 
Uh, yep, yep, yep. I mean, only if you're not busy. Or when you're heading through Groundbreaker for something else. You don't gotta change plans on account of me. Anyhow, next time we dock in Groundbreaker, let me know. Because I want to come with. Yeah. I also need to go back to Groundbreaker for... Um... What's the word? For that guy. For, 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 for the vicar. Because I think I have enough lockpicky stuff now, and I would need... Well, Felix is supposed to make lockpicking easier, so I need to bring him... Maybe I'd have to do, like, two separate things for that. Um... So, what do I want to do now? Right, right. Don't bite the sun. Interesting. Return to Gladys. Yup. Okay, there's that we could do. I'm just making sure. Okay, let's go back. You, hang on, I just want to welcome wanna back, Captain. Make sure you're doing okay. How can I be of assistance? I don't know if we got to talk much last time. Uh, well, I guess not. I don't entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me, play her song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. I hate you. <laughs> it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Oh, that's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Yeah, well, we're kind of outside that, aren't we? We're pirates. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I feel like we're not in a in a good See you soon, Captain. Not in a good place with Ada? I I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm talking to her wrong. Groundbreaker. Yeah, let's go. I do need to go to Phineas's lab because I do think that that's Destination where I'm gonna reached. find the groundbreaker. That big um What are all these dust particles floating around? Don't we have a cleaning bot now? What? Who else is there? They like froze. That's so weird when, I, when I'm not hovering over them, they freeze. Oh no, take you two off. We'll bring Parvati. Nah, well, no, 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 no. Let's actually bring Ellie. No, wait, no, oh geez, I don't know. Let's bring the bot. I'm too encumbered to fast travel alone? Okay. We, we, okay. Not really, like, I don't know. Like in Skyrim, right? You can't, you can't, you have to, you have to walk. You can't fast travel at all. But, like, this is not really fast traveling. This is me just walking out of the ship. You know, it's like getting off my horse. <laughs> like, what you don't want to do if you're encumbered in Skyrim. It's the only way for you to go anywhere fast. And I always recommend getting the Nightmare. Oh shoot, I can't even remember its name. The Dark Brotherhood Horse? Man. It's the best horse in the game. Reminder, unit modifications performed by unauthorized technicians are not authorized by the parent company. Mm. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. Doesn't it feel better to locomote without grit in your gears? To gain authorization credentials, an engineer must be registered as the unit's designated caretaker. Do you wish to assign yourself this designation, engineer? You asking me to be your minder? Yeah. I suppose you can't be any more complicated than an autoloader. All right, I'll do it. Updating registration. Updating. Updating. Slow. Holcomb Parvati 
is now responsible for the SAM unit's maintenance. Oh, geez. Designated caretaker. There is a rock in this unit's tread. Removal of foreign debris requested. Oh, no. Look what, you've, look what you've done. Also, I'm so sorry. You didn't have to do that. I think I'm supposed to be its designated caretaker. We are... So which one do we have selected? Oh, Sam? What do you want, Sam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow! Yeah, Sam's equipment's permanently attached and cannot be removed. But we do have... Um, base hell. I would think having them attack the Sam unit would be good. You know, I, like, because I think it's supposed to be a beefier thing. What? Interesting. I assume these are clumped together. Okay, let's do... Oh, no, wait, no, uh, deselect. Okay, this one. Oh, no, okay. Don't have to. Armor rating. Cool. Well, Sam's easy enough. I forgot that, yeah, Parvati really gets attached to the machines that are running around with us. So this is, this is perfect. I got distracted. We are... I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Uh, don't bite the sun. Let's, well, okay. So we do have to go to Gladys for... for other things as well, so hopefully it's not a big deal. I'll have to remember to get to all the things we're trying to request. Hello. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Mm. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? Uh, <laughs> I found some schematics for a prototype weapon from Forest and I'm selling. You buying? Peaches and cream. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tie, you some bits. I I I failed technically that quest. That's my first failed quest. Uh I found a toothpaste formula, but then I unfound it. Well, that's just just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. <laughs> okay, that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? Uh yep. Yeah, uh, certain there's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Look at all my achievements. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I'm looking to do some. My engineer's looking to do some deep cleansing. Wants wants to. We're just gonna blurt that out. Wants to impress Chief Junlei. I think I got just the thing, my dear. A few years back, Auntie Cleo's put out a whole makeover kit, and I snagged a couple for myself. High-grade shampoo and conditioner, scrubby brush, a nice lotion, that sort of thing. I still got them, too. What's the scrubby brush for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cleaning around your nails, sweetheart. Gets the engine grease out. Makes your hands soft. Most folk don't got the time. Or bathtubs for such, me included. I'll let you have one on clearance. You want rosish, <laughs> mock apple and cinnamon, or refurbished ship? Cinnamon. 
Yeah, uh, we, what do you want, Parvati? Oh, gosh. We never talked about what kind of smells she likes. I think pretty much every spot on Groundbreaker just smells like old socks. It comes down to what sort of intent you got. If I was looking to do a spy job over in engineering, I'd be safe with refurbished ships. Uh-huh. Now, if I was a young thing trying to come on all precious-like, I'd probably go with Rosish. <laughs> but if I was doing it for my own self, I'd pick mock apples and synthamin. I love that synthamin. I guess you could eeny miny mow it. Take your time, dear. A lady scent says a lot about her. Let's do the rose one. Well, because she's not necessarily just doing it for herself, right? And we're not doing the we're not doing the ship one. Although I don't know, maybe she would like the smell of refurbished ship. I don't know, but yeah, let's do rosish. We didn't have anything rosish in Edgewater. I heard it smells real pretty, though. I'll just wrap that up for you, since it's for a special occasion. Oh, thanks. I'll pay for that, ma'am. Thanks for being so helpful. You're welcome, dear. Oh, is she actually gonna pay for it? Also, let's buy the stellar nav key. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Uh, I don't know about that. Now, was there anything else? Um... No, I think we're good. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Probably trade would be good, but I haven't looked at my weapons enough to know exactly what I want to do. Um, can we, can we chat? Yeah, we can chat. Groundbreaker's safe from melting to bits now. Lots of good people can rest easy because of you. Thank. Oh, let's see. What do you think of the new guy? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. I thought you didn't like strangers generally? Yeah, but I got a good feeling about him, is all. Well, that's I good. I'm sure he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. He's talking to freaking Ellie. <laughs> that's not the one. That's not the better path. <laughs> You seriously think I'm the right sort to put him on the right course in life? You might surprise yourself. Oh, She believes in me. That's really sweet. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a mite ripe. Do we have a bathtub? You should so. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xeno Gold needle mushrooms. What? And then for dessert, there's a thing called a uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. And there's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. My gosh. Okay. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Well, she's the one who's the most fun right now. Everybody else, um... I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. Well, I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. It does. It definitely does. The analysis is as follows. Significant dust and spore concentration. Vacuuming estimate. Calculating. Calculating. Mm. Calculating. Yeah, good luck with that. things detected traveling on an organic substance. In the immediate vicinity. Nuh-uh. I just washed these coveralls last week. They're still spick and span. Mostly. Preparing ah! for deployment. Sam, don't you dare. Sam, I see you pointing that thing my way. What did I just say? Cancel cleaning schedule? Exactly. Ain't nothing wrong with a little mess. But I... I appreciate the gesture. I suppose. Every Sam unit comes lean, mean, and ready to clean. Hmm. I was gonna send him back and bring the vicar out, but maybe I'll actually just go switch out for the vicar and Felix. I'm <laughs> just. She's like, I think you can bring Felix on a better path. And then I'm like, aha! Uh -huh, and I, I go take Felix on a heist mission. Oh my gosh. 
I am. I'm not a good. I'm not a good person. I'm not as good as you think I am, Parvati. And I don't think I can outdo Ellie's influence. Uh, oh, he seems quite taken with her charm. Okay. Let's do the empty man. I I don't even remember how to use the holographic shroud. Jeez. Alright. Let's take you two off. Bring you two. What a fun squad. There is probably an easier way to do that than going in and out of the ship. But for now, <laughs> here we are. I just realized I should probably... What is this? A light armor? I don't know if he needs to wear a light armor or like a medium armor. He increases his dodge. He looks pretty dope. <laughs> the vicar. He's got a 15 with that. Yeah. It's not bad. Oh, should I? Nope. Should I look at their weapons? I don't think I have a grenade launcher. Oh, okay, I have a one. Not as good. Sawed off shotgun and a telescoping staff. Okay. It's not a huge improvement, but it is a little better. Gave him the tactical shotgun. How do I... How do I use the sneaky thing again? That's right, it activates automatically. Did I... Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. What? No, I have enough. Why can't I? Ugh. Okay, now I gotta figure that out. Okay, so apparently my lockpick skill isn't high enough? I don't know, but uh, apparently I can go in here and talk to these people. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Oh, uh, what bounties do you have available? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. No, oh, thanks. Good. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Uh, illegal substances? Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. It's not that one guy that we ran Spilled into in that Rizzo's planet. Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Mm. Assaulting two officers? Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. <laughs> McRed's lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor does, I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded, thinking he won't like that one bit. Okay. Any leads? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Um. Yeah. Oh, I will. Soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. So, in about three to seven weeks. Wow. 
I'll take it. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. Oh, no. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter as proof of kill. I do Aha. hope you're a lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Thanks. I am pretty uh, amazing. Mm, bye. Um. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Uh-huh. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Aren't we supposed to be disguised looking like them? Uh, what do you do here? This is the security desk, ma'am. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. What What are you good for, then? What do you, what do you, why can't you? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. <laughs> filing, huh? That what you do for fun? Sure. Quiets the mind. Hmm. Okay, well, bye-bye-bye. <laughs> we look ridiculous. Um. Oh, it's got their, like, who they're affiliated with up there on top of their heads. Um. Okay, so these are the only two actually with na not these two, but these two are the only ones with names. Let me let me talk to him really quick. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? I think I think these two have quests of something. Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, ma'am? <sighs> oh, I really like to get back there. We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, that's not, uh, we just don't. You did help fix the radiators. I know Commandant Sunita's grateful for that. Maybe if you cleared an open bounty, that'd be enough for a thank you tour. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Or I could, tr I could try this. I've already handled a big problem for the station. You can trust me? All right, I, I guess. In and out, though. Just try not to do any shady stuff. I'd like to keep my job. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Did our dealy wop just fade away, though, is the problem? Hang on. Hmm. Maybe. Oh no, we're because we're allowed back here now. We can wear our normal stuff. We don't have to have the hologram stuff. Okay. 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 That was way easier than I thought. To the rest. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Modified pistol, hatchet, prayer beads. Why are you taking prayer? Oh, this is maybe that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fled before we get down to it, left his things behind, so they're stored in the back of the station security until the idiot shows his face again. Uh, Sublight put a bid on one of our impounds. We're all at lost hope. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I'm be mad. Oh, jeez. Remember to keep an eye on Gladys. All right, I uh, mean, we... okay. All right. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. All right. Well, I think they confiscated that data cartridge from him. Bye bye. Well, I have a bounty I can do at some point if I want to. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Surprisingly, sometimes you just gotta talk to people. <laughs> I'm not you. I thought I was like trying to maintain like a super low like uh, like presence, you know. Like I didn't want to like mess up my hologram stuff by talking to people, so I was just trying to go in and out. But I guess it would be really weird if someone just walked in and didn't talk, you know. Even if it was someone who looked like they were supposed to be there. But um, anyway, I think I'm gonna have to end this one here. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. We're gonna get. We're going to get Parvati a nice date, and we're going to get the vicar whatever contraband material I guess that he wants. It's going to be good. I'll see you all in the next one.